Pursue Peace Convention. Now, Brother Ralph Walholtz, a helper to the Personnel Committee, will present the next talk of this symposium. How Love Leads to Genuine Peace, Love of Neighbor. For telling dominant traits that would exist in the last days, the final part of the last days, 2 Timothy chapter 3 says that men, governing body, will be lovers of themselves. Is it wrong for us to love ourselves? No, it's normal, even necessary to have a healthy love of oneself. After all, Jesus said, you must love your neighbor as yourself. We dearly love each one of you. The love mentioned here is distorted and selfish. Think about it. And because it prevents love of neighbor, it becomes a barrier to peace. Some Bible scholars suggest that Paul put love of self at the top of his list at 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, because all the remaining negative characteristics in the list result from it. And those traits, too, are a barrier to peace. For example, not being open to any agreement. No. Mentioned in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 3. Often leads to anger, wrath screaming, undoubtedly, and abusive speech. Those who wickedly set their own moral standards will receive no peace from Jehovah and will not have peaceful lives. Rather than bringing peace, such a lack of self-control stirs up strife, the final part of the final part of the last days. On the other hand, love of neighbor has the opposite effect. It leads to genuine peace.